Tomac, the Trash Overlord, Life Melon Company. This is Magic Empire Chapter 33. Back trip chilling. What's cracking, everybody? My name is Phil McCracken. We are still deep into the King of the Beach Party tournament here. Well, final eight first round matches tonight. And we're kicking it off here with the debuting Rainmaker. Kazuchika Okada, and he'll be taking on Paul Pugh here. Capacity crowd here on the beaches off Boots Knee World off the coast of sunny Florida. And these two are wasting no time getting right down to business. Here's a roller by Paul Pugh, cover. No, not even a count there for Chris Hansen. Big insecurity kick there. As I mentioned before, tonight the final first round matches. Eight in total for the King of the Beach Party Tournament. 64 Pearson Tournament. All matches returned by a random generator. Here's Paul Pugh with a cross face, but I, uh, oh, I, oh, oh. Okada punches. Okada works his way out of that as I couldn't work my words out. Also on the card this evening, Raiden the Bouncer will be taking on uh, Quartz. Empress, one half of the Empire Magic Empire Tag Team Champions, will be taking on Dominic Toretto. Io Shirai will be taking on Drago Caesar. Drago, one third of the Triforce. Uh, uh, tag champions in our main event this evening two OCW legends Nate Ortiz and Rex will be taking on each other and more in the ring here strike battle back and forth with Paul Pugh and Okada as both fall down back to their feet. Pew into the corner. Big scoop slam there by Okada. He'll head to the outside. Nice little uh, senton from the apron, a la Eddie Guerrero. Pew sends Okada off to the ropes. Go behind sleeper, dragon sleeper transition. But Okada wiggles his way out. Big elbow strike there by Paul Pugh. Go behind into a modified abdominal stretch. Nothing doing there. Okada making his debut okay. here in Magic Empire. STF applied to Paul Pugh. Paul Pugh, a veteran here of Magic Empire. Looking to back on a get the back on a winning streak after losing to Dimsmore uh, earlier this season. Two. Big vertical suplex by Paul Pugh and Okada spills to the outside. But back in quickly. Inseguri to the back of the head by Paul Pugh. Drags him away from the ropes. Good ring awareness. He'll stand Okada back up. Reversal. Off the ropes. Big clothesline there by Pugh. Followed up by an elbow. Off the ropes. Another elbow. Nice little combination there. Belly to belly over the head. Suplex by Paul Pugh. Looking to put Okada away here. Big clothesline. And back to work in the abdominal stretch. Stretch. 
Back and forth action, neither competitor gaining true advantage here. Pew to the top rope, diving elbow to the small of the back on Okada. Upstairs, no, reversal by Okada, suplex and Pew will spill to the outside. But he's back in the ring quickly. Pew has Okada now in the tree of woe. Elbows to the knees as he fall, as Okada falls out. Kick to the stomach. You agree! And that will do it! Okada does not answer the ref's count. And Pew will move on. I hope Okada's okay. That was a short career here in Magic Empire. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. up here it's Raiden the bouncer and he'll be taking on the man wearing snowballs for some reason quartz it it looks like quartz might have a little bit of a disadvantage here He has snowballs on his hands. He's been away from Magic Empire for months, and uh, I don't, I don't know about this decision. But he's in here. He'll be taking on Raiden the Bouncer, who, uh, interestingly enough, has no wins here in Magic Empire. Looking to get off the Schneid here. Big Death Valley driver there by the snowball handed quartz. 2.9, Raiden almost didn't kick out of that. Snowball to the head there by quartz. But Raiden the bouncer will sweep the leg. Up again, Death Valley driver, cover. 2.9, Raiden just kicked out of that. To the top, Tornado DDT by Quartz. Must be very proud of the snowballs he has on his hand. Nice little snowball drop there from Quartz. Raiden sends him off. Savat kick to the throat, cover! Two count. Quartz kicks out quickly. Back up again. Quartz really trying to end it. The third Death Valley driver. He's hit this contest. Two. And that will do it. Quartz is victorious. He has snowballs on his hand. Raiden still doesn't have any wins. And we'll be right back with more King of the Beach Party X. Rugs, rugs, rugs. But popular demand, Cyrus has decided to stay for good. Our can store in Grafton Street has just been renovated. There are thousands of new rugs, and the prices are still the lowest. We need to clear hundreds of rugs fast. Bedroom rugs only $12. Fried modern rug, $199. Traditional rug, $395. Contemporary rug, $349. Hand knotted masterpiece, $1,500. And corridor runners are flying out the door for $59. Hurry, hurry. Only at Cyrus Persian Carpets, 142 Grafton Street, Cairns.
Out here next one half of the Magic Empire Tag Team Champions, Empress. And she will be, she will be taking on Mi Familia, Dominic Toretta. Our third of eight first round contests to wrap up the first round here tonight on Magic Empire. Dominic Toretta, excuse me, Toretto, recently made his debut on Magic Empire and he's looking to continue his winning streak, but the cards will certainly be stacked against Dom with Empress as his opponent. Why? And uh, according to my sources, which are very reliable sources, we're getting word that if Empress goes through and wins the whole tournament, her call out might be to Here's a cover. One count only as uh, Empress kicks out quickly. Empress might be calling out the queen of the empire, Dragana Caesar. And I'll have to say if that match, here's another cover, but Empress kicks out quickly again. That will be a very anticipated match. Here's a crucifix bomb by Empress, but Dom's out quickly with a one count. Go behind by Empress, close on to the back of the head. Sends Dom into the corner. Sets him up. Uh-oh, this doesn't look good. Empress goes downstairs on the family jewels. Angle lock submission here by Empress. But Dom powers out. Now Dom looking to regain control. A little ground and pound here. Misses with the right hand. Empress off the ropes. Nice penalty kick there by Empress. Sends Dom into the corner. But Dom reversed it, swinging neck breaker there. Now Dom just wailing on Empress. Very lackadaisical cover. 2.9. Empress almost didn't kick out. What an upset that would have been if Dom was able to pull that one out. Another cover. Two and no. Wait, what was that in his hand? It looked like some brass knucks. Dom pulling out all the stops. Driver! 2.9 Empress kicked out. It's going to take a lot more than that to put Empress down. One of the toughest competitors here we have in Magic Empire. Rights and lefts by Dom, pounding away. Cover! 2.9, Empress not giving up just yet. Snap suplex by Empress. We're gonna follow up. Going to work now. Stop to the head, stop to the back of the knee. Kick to the stomach. Brass knucks yet again. And now wailing on Empress. Cover. 2.9 Empress kicks out again. Kick combination there by Empress. 
Off the ropes. Another penalty kick. Big headbutt there by Dom. Looks like he's calling for the end of the match. Nope, just going for a cover. Two. No. They're going to exchange strikes here. Ten minutes gone here in this contest. Big head kick there. Dom's back up quickly with a head button. Both competitors are down. Covered by Dom. Two. 2.9 Empress kicked out. Crowd on their feet. Back with the brass knucks from Dom. Looking to end this contest. Uppercut and Empress is out on her feet. Right cross to the back of the head. Empress back up. A barrage of lefts and rights by Dom's cover in the center of the ring. Two. 2.9 Empress kicked out. Brass knucks. <coughs> Going up. Oshi Goroshi. From Dom cover. No, two count. Empress kicked out again. And um, no, that's a sword. Oh, she almost cut down in half. Cover. Two count dunk kicked out. Kick combination. Dom's out on his feet. Blocked. Elbow. Empress looking to put him away. Up top. Oh, she goes. Cover. Not even a count. Cover now. No. She had the ropes. Her foot was underneath the ropes. Cross arm breaker. Cross arm breaker. No. Dom is in the ropes. A sword again. Got him. Cut him in half. Empress off the ropes. Crucifix bomb. 2.9 and Dom kicked out. Went for the suplex, Dom reversed it. Vertical suplex, Empress will spill to the outside. We are 15 minutes into this contest. It is anybody's ball game. Dom went downstairs. He is resorting to any tactics he can find. Superman punch from Dom. Cover. Two count efforts kicked out. What more can Dom do? Here's the cover from Empress. 2.9 Dom and it kicks out. Brass ducks. Doesn't go for the pin. That might be a mistake. There's an uppercut. Snap suplex from Empress. Strike exchange. Right hands from Dom. Kicks from Empress. Big headbutt. Empress back up. Head kick. Both competitors are down. Roll up. 2.9 Dominic kicked out. What will it take? And now Empress goes downstairs. But Dominic's in the ropes, no cover there. Empress brings Dom back to the center of the ring. Coconut crunch there by Dom. Here's the cover. Two. Empress says no. Sword. Down goes Dom. Center of the ring. He's not near the ropes. Here's the cover. Two. And that will do it.
19 minutes, 13 seconds. Empress is victorious. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. More to come. just witness apparently with the recent news of OnlyFans changing their clientele the thought father has opened his own fans only subscribe now apparently But to more important things, more first round action here in the King of the Beach Party Tournament. Yeah. Next contest that's out here, already in the ring and in action, Cyborg Rust of the United uh, Robotic Force. As the screen wipe is a little yeah. late to show up on yeah. the screen. But Cyborg Rust here taking on uh, the Bastard Pot. Pac had been on a win, uh, recent winning streak here in Magic Empire, looking to continue that success. And as for Cyborg Rust, he was the last participant in the tournament representing the uh, Unified Robotic Force. So desperately trying to gain a win. Last week, we saw T-17 get destroyed and decommissioned by one Jake Allen. And Cyborg Rust would like to not want that to happen to him. Maybe a, a tall yeah. feat to overcome. Yeah. And there would a veteran in yeah. the ring there like Pac. Yeah. Yeah. Big elbow exchange there. Pac will uh, retain control. Goes on to the back of the head of Cyborg Rust. Rust sends him off. Pac dunked underneath the elbow and into a uh, snap suplex. Nicely executed. And uh, Rust, being the uh, Frenchman that he is, goes downstairs. There's a leaping little Jimmy and goes downstairs again. Now to the top. Diving elbow across the small of the back of Pac. Looking to follow up, but Pac kicks him right in the face. Both back to the standing position. Big turning Sambo suplex there by a Cyborg Rust. And he'll rust will go downstairs yeah. again. Deadlift German from the ground, but Park is up quickly. And Rust will go downstairs again like the dirty robot that he is. Elbow crossed his small the back from the top rope. Yeah. Deadlift German. Nicely executed. Park up quickly. Kick across the face. If you call the face. Pac perched up on the top rope. Missile drop kick, nicely executed. Sends him off, baseball slide underneath. Both miss with the drop kicks. Judo take over there by Pac. Go behind, German bridge, cover. 2.9, Russ kicks out. 
Russ to the top. Diving elbow across the back. Pac go behind German, but Rust is in the ropes. No count there. Snap suplex by Pac. Back suplex driver there. Every time Pac looks to gain some momentum, Russ seems to fight him off. Russ to the top. Diving elbow there. Hit him square. Looking for the croissant blade. Turns him over. Here's the cover. One, two. two count. Pac kicked out. Big DDT there. Pac. Thought about going to the top. Nope. Springboard. Nicely executed dive there. Break to the eyes from Rust. Big Sambo suplex. Cover. Two count hot powers out. We are 10 minutes in. Flatliner there from Rust. Yeah. Sends Pac off to the ropes. Go behind. Yeah. Sleeper suplex dropped him on the back of his head. But Pac is up first. Rust is still down. Red arrow. And that will do it. Went for the sleeper suplex. It looked like he knocked himself out. Pac will advance. Here in the King of the Empire, or I'm sorry, King of the Beach, right here in the Empire. Oh, Pac will advance. Next up, another first round matchup here in the Kingdom Beach Party Tournament. The genius of the sky, Io Shirai, will taking on one third of the Triforce Tag Team Champions and the head of the Caesar family, Drago Caesar. This looks to be a barn burner. Shirai has not been in action much here in Magic Empire. Last seen defeating Deanna Barrazzo. And as I mentioned, Drago, one third of the Triforce champions, along with Batista and Taiga Samjia. This uh, could lead to something interesting down the line. Drago May looking to soften up Io Shirai as she seems to be a uh, top contender as well for the Queen of the Empire championship held by Drago's sister, Dragana Caesar. Both competitors to the outside. Count up to five. Couple kicks there by Io. Couple leg checks. Drago, perfect flex on the outside. Up count up to 12. Up to 13, and both wrestlers will make their way back into the ring. Watch the drop kick to the back of the head, kid. Nicely executed there by Drago Caesar. Shirai sends him off. Nothing doing there. Nice wrestling takeover there by Drago. Scooping a slam there from Io Shirai. Dragon screw leg whip. Nicely executed there by Shirai. Cover hooks the leg. And a one count only. Too early in the contest there to really get an effective count. 
Strike back and forth. Tiger uppercuts from Drago. Right hands from EO. EO will gain control into a Boston Crab. Center of the ring, but Drago Bowers out. What a kick to the head there from Io Shirai. Diving moonsault from the top. Here's the cover. Two count. Shirai seems to be in full control here. Bit of a triangle choke, head and arm. Center of the ring, Drago wiggles himself out. Scooping a slam there by Shirai. Drago out on his feet. Arm trap, German with the bridge. Here's the cover, two. And finally, Drago's able to answer there with a DDT. Now Eo's out on her feet. Haruka from Drago. Went for the German, but it looked like Eo reversed it of some in some way. There's a Russian leg sweep there by Drago. Cover hooks the leg. Two count as Eo powers out. Flipping pile driver from Eo Sharon. Now to the top. Moon Soul nicely executed. Two. 2.9 Drago kicked out. High angle German bridge, but Drago's all in the ropes. Went for the goal behind, nothing doing. Russian leg sweep there from Drago. Both competitors are down. Back to their feet. Another flip pile driver from Eo. To the corner. Top. Moonsault. Hits it. Cover. No. Two count. Drago kicked out again. Drago. Leaping pile driver. Drilled her in the center of the ring. Cover. Two count. Eo kicks out. Flippy pile driver. Here's the cover. Two count Drago kicked out. Back and forth action. Both competitors looking for the kill shot of sorts. 10 minutes gone here. Arm trap, German, bridge with the cover. Two count Drago kicked out. Shot to the head. Drago with the takeover. Now he's gonna head to the top. Big leaping sent on there by Drago Caesar. He'll go for the cover. Two. EO kicked out. Go behind. Whoa, the net! And EO is out! Drago will win and advance here in the tournament. What a contest! We'll take a break. We got three contests to go. We'll be right back. Good taste is really important to me. I like things that are high powered, responsive. <laughs> Full of life, and that's just in my choice of drink. For maximum energy, great taste, and all my go, get with the cola that's not for wimps. Colombian cola, available from these stores now. And in my men, I like a great body, sexy eyes. We've had some barn burners here to this evening. A lot to live up to for these last three contests. But out here now, OCW Hall of Famer, the gatekeeper, KD Angelo, and he'll be taking on 
Doc Green, one half of the uncrowned tag team with Antonio Everett. Yeah. Big D'Angelo bomb there from, I'm sorry, Black Bomb from KD and a belly to belly German as Doc Green goes to the outside. Katie Angelo definitely living up to his gatekeeper name here in Magic Empire as of late. He's been on a mean streak, sending a lot of new competitors to the garden. He's looking to keep that success up here in the King of the Beach Party Tournament. And Dot Green has been away for quite some time here in Magic, Magic Empire. But the opportunity for a match of your choosing or a title opportunity of your choosing. F5 from KD brought Doc Green out here. Here's the cover. Chris Hansen with the count. 2.9 as Doc Green kicked out. Overhead press slam and KD just toying with Doc Green. Two. No, Doc Green kicked out. Black Rick. Nothing doing, he'll just give him a backbreaker across his knee. Doc Green in a very unlikely position. He is getting manhandled by KD Angela. Swap package. Nothing doing there. KD is just tossing Doc Green from pillar to post. Two, 2.9, Doc Green barely kicked out of there. Big leaping headbutt from KD. Black Rack again. Chris Hansen right there, but nothing doing. They're gonna exchange some strikes. Not the move, big Lariat clothesline there from KD. Not the move. Uh, Doc Green wants to be and doesn't want to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with KD. KD going back for another black rack. And nothing doing. Backbreaker power slam combination from KD. Doc Green needs to mount some offense here or this match will be over before you know it. Couple drop toe holds there from Doc Green, but KD will answer back with a big headbutt. Here's a cover. 2.9 as Doc Green kicks out again. Arm drag there from Doc Green. Sends KD off. He'll hit the other side. Elbow strike. Here's the cover. That's definitely not enough. Went for a headlock, but KD reverses into a back suplex. Here's a cover by KD. Two. And that will do it. The power of KD is too much here for Doc Green as KD will move on here into the next round here, the King of the Beach Party Tournament. We'll be right back. It make you wanna slap your mama. Pop Fristos got the best motherfucking gyros, gyros. You ever f***ing ate your life. So good. Take one look, think mm. You got to have Peter's. Peter's! Pop Cristo Peter's! They got everything. I'm gonna just give you a rundown of some of my favorites. They got tzatziki. Oct oh, hold on. Octopi tequila. Well, uh, whatever, but it's good. Abolimano <laughs> soup. Cabo pizza. And they got wine too. I'm telling you, come on down to Pop Cristo. You can't even pronounce the food, it's so goddamn good. Show them what you're working with, Papa. Show them how you do it. Hey, yeah, Papa, hey, where are you? Papa Cristo, are you here? Papa, Papa, Papa Cristo, are you here? Come on down to Papa Cristo's, 2771 West Boulevard Pico. Or you can call right now and get it delivered. Papa Cristo, ooh, make you want to do the thing. <laughs> Out here next, it is Stacy Keebler, and she will be taking on one of the most dominant K 
King of the Empire champions we've had here in Magic Empire, one Jason Voorhees. And here we go. Stacy Keebler, known in the, uh, many circles as Super Keeb, has been one of the most dominant figures in Magic Empire history, winning the Waifu Invitation Invitational a few years back. And now, in the King of the Beach Party Tournament, looking to... Uh, Reclaim some of that uh, dominance. But she is up against another dominant force in his own right. Yes. Jason Voorhees, who will, of course, if he wins, goes with her choke slam and a beauty from Jason Voorhees. He will look to uh, challenge the King of the Empire, Cassidy Hayes. If he makes it all the way through this King of the Beach Party Tournament. Yes! Leaping Hurricane Rana from Stacy Keebler. But it doesn't last long as Jason follows up with a spinning clothesline. And now just doing what any horror villain would do. Blatantly choking her. Go behind from Stacy. Look for the back suplex, but nothing doing. What kind of submission is this from Vor from Jason Voorhees? But Stacy will power out. Nothing doing there from that choke. Yes. Leaping Hurricane Rana again. From Stacy. Leg lock applied from Jason. But nothing doing. Up top. Gut buster there from Jason. Here's the cover. One, two. Two count as uh, Stacy Keebler kicked out. Swing neck breaker nicely executed there from Stacy Keebler. She's going for Stacy TF, but Jason is in the ropes. Bear hug from Jason, but somehow Stacy got into the ropes. Another leaping hurricane run. Here's the cover from Stacy. Not even a count. Great. Bear hug again, but Stacy's in the ropes. They're gonna exchange strikes. Uppercuts. Super kick from Stacy. Drops Jason. Very strange sleeper hold here from Stacy. But nothing doing. Jason follows up with a big elbow. Back to the leg bar, and that will do it. Stacy will have to tab out. Jason Voorhees will advance on to the next round here. It is main event time when we come back. One last commercial. We'll see you soon. Jones Barbecue and Foot Massage. Jones Barbecue and Foot Massage. You better come down here, get some of this shit. You like to eat, America loves to eat. So why not open up somewhere America can sit down, enjoy a meal, and get their feet rubbed. We'll fry anything you want for $5.99. As long as it's friable or edible, we are gonna make it deliciousable. We will fry parts of the chicken you didn't even know was friable. The beak, the feathers, we'll fry candy bars. All that European stuff that you don't really normally eat, we'll bring it down here and fry it for you. Ask McDonald's to fry something other than what they normally fry. Guess what you are gonna get? Nothing. If it fit through the dough, I'll put it in the fryer. Hell, this is a dinosaur. All our meats are gently tenderized to their optimum deliciousness. We got fine dinosaur meats. Took my money, made me pay child support. Come on down here and get you a slice. Once they get your social security number, it's over. Motivated, 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 motivated. So friends, let's just decide you don't want no barbecue. 
Well, that's fine too. Why not let one of my foot specialists or myself perform our magic? Look at that, don't they look wonderful? If you really pay me enough, we'll massage your feet in any of these sauces also. Success is the rule down here at Jones. Good ass barbecue and foot massage. So go ahead and give me a call or find us on them worldwide internets at the new website. That's J-O-N-E-S Big Ass Truck Rental and Storage dot com backslash Jones Good Ass Barbecue and Foot Massage dot H-T-M-L. Excuse me, did you call number 52? Did you hear me call number 52? There are no words that can truly describe this contest between these two competitors. Rex, Nate Ortiz, main event, final first round contest here at the King of Beach Party Tournament. And you would have to think that these two are probably the favorites to win the whole thing. And easily is the biggest matchup here in the first round. They've already had a bitter feud brewing. So the random number gods wanted to see this contest one more time. Now, even though Nate Ortiz is the franchise, he is the GTG, one half of The Cure with Bobby Min EO. He's been on a little bit of a losing streak here, and he's looking to correct that course. And Rex has not been on a winning streak either. He's not just been on a winning streak, excuse me, but he has murdered the last handful of bodies that were uh, that stood across from him in this ring. All in all, this will add up to look and be a uh, wonderful contest here as both of these competitors back and forth very early on. No one gaining a uh, full advantage just yet. Double underhook over the top uh, suplex from Rex. And now Curb stopping the face of Nate Ortiz as he powers his way out. Needed a solar plexus there from Rex. Double leg takedown there, and, Nate and Rex will go downstairs on Nate Ortiz. Fisherman Buster there from Rex and stopping the face yet again of Nate Ortiz. There's a cover and nothing doing there, only a two count. DDT planted him hard there, did Nate Ortiz. Nice little take over there from Nate. Neither soul park is Rex going to the top. Diving foot stomp across the small of back. Nicely executed there. And some rear ground and pound here. Big John McCarthy, our referee this evening. Nothing doing. Another fisherman driver there. And he's... What a kick there from Rex into a cloverleaf. Center of the ring. Could this be it? No, Nate will power out. Big right hand, and we got a strike battle here. Fate, the right hand, went downstairs. Detlef German with the bridge to 2.9. Nate will kick out. And now Nate will go downstairs. Off the ropes. Spear! STF! But Rex will power out. 
Tombstone pile driver from Nate Ortiz. Off the ropes, spear, cover, hooks the leg. Two, 2.9, Rex kicked out. Ortiz Express as Rex falls to the outside of the ring. And he's wasting no time. He's back in here with a light tube. Ortiz Express on the light tube. Cover. One, two. two count eight kicked. I'm sorry, Rex kicked out. DDT. Big clothes on there from Nate. Right hand and Rex is out on his feet. Cover, but Rex is in the ropes. No count there from Big John MacArthur. Another DDT from Nate Ortiz. Big diving leg drop across the back of the head. DDT yet again. Scoop, tombstone, cover. Two count Rex powered out. Ortiz Express and he'll spill to the outside of the ring. Rex needs to rebound and gain some offense or this match will be over in no time. Fisherman driver there. Rex stands him back up. Headbutt. Another fisherman driver. But Nate's up quickly. DDT. Here's a cover. Hooks the leg. Three and that will do it. Nate Ortiz gets off the schneid and will move on here in the King of the Beach Party Tournament. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you in round two next week, chapter 34. So long, everybody.